The technique of implicit differentiation allows you to find the derivative of y with respect to x without having to solve the given equation for y. The chain rule must be used whenever the function y is being differentiated because of our assumption that y may be expressed as a function of x. In simpler words, we will use implicit differentiation when the variable x and y are mixed up in one equation because normally we have y on the left and x on the right. When x and y are mixed up at the left and right hand side of the equation, we can find dy over dx by using implicit differentiation. There are five basic steps in implicit differentiation. Number one, we will differentiate each term accordingly. Sometimes we will have to apply product rule and sometimes we will have to apply quotient rule. Number two, remember to add dy over dx each time we differentiate variable y. Number three, bring all terms with dy over dx to the left and the terms without dy over dx to the right hand side. Number four, factorize dy over dx and lastly leave only dy over dx on the left and move the rest of the equation to the right implicit differentiation here we are given y square plus xy minus x square equal to step number one we will differentiate each term accordingly but each time we differentiate variable y, we must add dy over dx or y prime. Okay, let's start with the first term. Differentiate y square is 2y. And because this is y, we must add dy over dx or add y prime. Plus, we want to differentiate xy. XY is, XY is a product of two function. We must apply product rule, which is u v prime plus v u prime. We can denote x as u and y as v. So u v prime x. Differentiate y is 1, so we have dy over dx plus v y u prime differentiate x equal 1 differentiate the third term we want to differentiate negative x square so we get negative 2x equal finally differentiate 2 we get 0 and then we will separate the equation Terms with dy over dx on the left and the other terms are bring to the right hand side. Next, factorize dy over dx. And finally, just leave dy over dx on the right and bring the rest to the left hand side. So here we get dy over dx equal to x minus y over 2y plus x. Next example, here we want to find dy over dx by using implicit differentiation from x minus y plus exponent y equal x plus ln y square plus cos x plus 1. So step number 1, differentiate each term accordingly and remember to add dy over dx or y prime each time 
we differentiate variable y. So the previous example, we add dy over ds. For this example, let's use y prime. Differentiate x, we get 1. Minus differentiate y, differentiate y is 1. But we must add either dy over dx or y prime. So minus y prime plus differentiate exponent y. Here we must apply chain rule because exponent y is a simple uh, composite function. Number one, differentiate exponent. Number two, differentiate y. So differentiate exponent y, we get exponent y. Multiply. Differentiate y is 1, so we must add y prime. Equal, differentiate x again, we get 1. Plus, next, we want to differentiate ln y square, which is another composite function. Number 1, differentiate ln. And number 2, differentiate y square. Differentiate ln, we get 1 over y square. Multiply, differentiate y square is 2y. And we must add y prime. Plus, differentiate cos x, we get negative sin x. And then, differentiate 1 equal 0. Done with the first step. Second step, we will separate terms with y prime on the right hand side. And terms without y prime bring to the uh, terms with y prime on the left, and terms without y prime bring to the right. Next step, factorize y prime on the left. And finally, leave just y prime on the left and bring the rest to the right. So, we get y prime equal negative sine x over negative 1 plus exponent y minus 2 over y. Next example, we want to find dy over dx from this equation by using implicit differentiation. So, sine to x plus ln 3y square minus xy equal negative 4x. Differentiate the first term. The first term is composite function. Number one, differentiate sine. Number two, differentiate two x. Differentiate sine, we get cos two x. Multiply, differentiate two x, we get two. Plus, Next, we want to differentiate ln 3y squared. So again, this is composite function. Number 1, differentiate ln. Number 2, differentiate 3y squared. Differentiate ln, we get 1 over 3y squared. Multiply, differentiate 3y squared, we get 
six Y. And do not forget to add dy over dx. Okay, minus. Now we want to differentiate xy. xy is a product of two functions. So we use the product rule u v prime plus v u prime. Here we can denote x as u and y as v. So u v prime x dy over dx plus v u prime y multiplied by 1 equal differentiate negative 4x we get negative 4 so now we want to separate terms with dy over dx on the left and terms without dy over dx move to the right And then after separation, uh, factorize dy over dx on the left. And finally, just leave dy over dx on the left and bring the rest to the right. So, we get dy over dx equal negative 4 minus 2 cos 2x minus y over 2 over y minus x. Next example, we want to find dy over dx by using uh, implicit differentiation from 6 cos x plus 3y minus 5 exponent y equal 5x squared. Number 1, differentiate each term accordingly and remember to add either dy over dx or y prime each time we differentiate the variable y. Okay, let's start with the first term. We want to differentiate 6 cos x plus 3y which is a composite function. 6, just a coefficient. So number 1, differentiate cos. And number 2, differentiate thing in the bracket. 6 as the coefficient will remain. Differentiate cos, we get negative sine. So negative sine x plus 3y. Multiply. Now we want to differentiate thing inside the bracket. Differentiate x, we get 1 plus differentiate 3y, we get 3 dy over dx minus. Now we want to differentiate negative 5 exponent y, which is another composite function. Number 1, differentiate exponent and number 2, differentiate y. Negative 5 as coefficient will remain the same. So negative 5. Multiply. Differentiate exponent. We get exponent y. Multiply. Differentiate y. We get dy over dx. Equal. Now we want to differentiate 5x squared. Which equal to 10x. Next, we will separate uh, terms with dy over dx on the left and terms without dy over dx to the right.
Now we want to factorize dy over dx. And finally, just leave dy over dx on the left and bring the rest to the right. And that is our solution. Okay, now we want to differentiate x exponent to x plus 1, which is a composite function. Differentiate exponent, we get exponent to x plus y. Differentiate to x plus y. Differentiate to x, we get 2. Differentiate y, we get 1 and we must add dy over dx equal differentiate x squared is 2x. Let's try to expand and simplify the equation first. To make it easier for us to separate terms with dy over dx on the left and terms without dy over dx on the right. So after some expansion, uh, we get this and then factorize dy over dx on the left. The terms without dy over dx we bring to the right hand side. Finally, leave dy over dx and we get this as the final answer. Apply implicit differentiation to find dy over dx from 2xy cubed plus exponent x square y equals sine x plus cos y. So let's differentiate the first term. We have 2xy cubed. Here we have to apply product rule. We can donate uh, 2x as u and y cubed as v. Use formula u b prime plus v u prime so u b prime 2 x multiplied by 3 y square dy over dx plus v u prime y cube multiplied by 2 plus Second term, now we want to differentiate exponent x square y. So again, we must apply formula for product rule. 
we can denote exponent x squared as u and y as v. At the same time, exponent x squared is a composite function. So number one, differentiate exponent and number two, differentiate x squared. So u v prime. Exponent x squared multiplied by dy over dx plus v u prime y multiplied by exponent x squared multiplied by 2x equal differentiate sine x we get cos x plus differentiate cos y we get negative sine y dy over dx. Now let's try to expand to make it easier for us to separate between terms with dy over dx and terms without dy over dx. So this is our final solution.